new intro so much love and appreciation to those of you who have been with me for the two-year period plus that i've been doing this um thank you for showing your uh love and support to the channel and to anybody else who is brand new to the platform and you would like to support the channel also you can do it by way of patreon anchor the clothing store and also the shoe shop that is listed in the comment description below and again thank you to any and all of you guys who have been here to support this channel during the two plus year period i wouldn't be able to do what i do every single day without you The fate of a former Colorado Springs child care operator is now in the jury's hands. The case against Carla Faith was handed to 12 jurors around noon Thursday, just four days after the trial started. Faith, who was at one time ran four children care facilities in Colorado Springs, faces numerous counts of knowing slash reckless child abuse without injury, as well as charges for running a child care facility without a license and attempting to influence a public servant. The charges stem from 2019 when Springs police officers executed a welfare check at one of the daycares and discovered nearly 30 children behind a false wall in a basement. According to police at the time, the welfare check was initiated following multiple complaints that Faith's Play Mountain Palace facility was housing more kids than it was licensed to. Quote, the owner identified as 58-year-old Carla Faith refused to cooperate with officers. However, officers could hear the noises of children coming from her home. During the investigation, officers found a false wall that led to the home's basement. When officers walked down the stairs, they located two adults and 26 kids inside of a finished basement, all who were under the age of three years old. Officers immediately began working with the Colorado Department of Human Services to release the children back to their parents. Three other facilities will go on to be closed during the course of the investigation. Previous coverage of that investigation can be seen online. Three employees were arrested in 2019 alongside their boss. One took a plea deal while the other two, Christina Swagger and Caitlin Nelson, were slated to be tried with faith. Nielsen never appeared in court and a warrant has been issued. The verdict for Swagger is expected to be read at the time of Faith's. So yet again, this is the reason why I do these videos. All the time I tell parents like, hey, make sure whoever you are allowing to um, you know, hold on to your kids during your, you know, your work day or, or whatever it is. Make sure that these people are who they, they say that they are. Make sure that they're actually going to take care of your children. Do any and all types of background checks and searches that you need to do on the person, the facility, or anybody else that is currently working with that person because you will never, in a sense, know um, unless you check, right? Uh, the facility should have been checked out originally by all of the parents um, i'm not going to say that you know the parents didn't know more than likely you did have some parents that knew but they were like hey well this is the facility it's the cheapest thing out and it seems you know okay so this is what we're going to do right but legally um in the housing she was not supposed to be housing that many people legally um you know for that she should have had a actual building that was built to house more than 30 people this is again why she had a finished basement and a false uh wall um you know like i said before you never know what could potentially be going on or what could potentially be happening when you allow another individual um you know the faith well blind faith i'll say um and the ability to oversee and to have hold of your kids like i said a multitude of things could have went wrong there's other stories that i've covered where you had stories similar to this and then you know a fire broke out or other things you know uh directly transpired to that daycare center and you know like i said before a lot of parents would be like oh you know that's so sad this shouldn't have happened and you know that da, 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 da. but realistically if you were on your job and doing the things that you're supposed to be doing you know none of those things would happen right so you know like i said the the, the main thing i can tell parents is be as cautious as possible when it comes to placing your kids into daycares um you know in these facilities um amongst these people because you can never be too sure or certain who these individuals are or if they are who they say they are.
right a lot of things can very easily be a false uh representation just so people can start something up and just get a little bit of money directly off of your kids and not even really you know care for them but anyways let me know what you guys think about this video and everything that i stated in the comment description below as always peace love and stay tuned for the next video